Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. Looking forward to Leadership Night tonight. This is the last Friday night of every month. We gather our leaders together and we really teach on leadership. So we we'll look forward to seeing you in the services. We will end the service at 8.30 sharp so that there's no worry about curfews getting home. Tenants, the last couple of Friday nights has been a little tough because people are worried about curfews and pastors' long sermons. So I will adapt. We get you home before curfew. Right now, I want us to talk just a little bit about Paul's home church in Antioch. In chapter 14, verse 26, from Athalia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. This was an incredible church, the real, really the first Jewish-Gentile combined church in the ancient world and really became the greatest missions church and the largest church in the world until the great revival in Ephesus began many years from now. Now, when Paul went back home, he went back home to a people who did not just send him out, did not just financially support him. He went back to a people who committed him to the grace of God. Now, now that is an incredible truth. These people did not commit him to duty, to, to, oh, Paul, go out there and struggle and die. They committed him to the grace of God. They committed him to God's grace. What a beautiful thing to be committed to. As, as he had left, they laid hands on him. We commit you to the grace of God for the work that you're going to do because they knew that the grace of God, the grace on Paul's life and ministry, the grace to be able to preach, the grace of God to be able to, to take the pressures and the challenges, they knew what Paul would later teach about his own life. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Paul was a grace-made man. Paul learned that beautiful message of grace in part here at Corinth. They committed him to the grace of God for the work that was now completed. Now, the second thing I want you to see there is there comes a stopping point. You, you have to understand that in the work of God there are stopping points. There are, okay, this job is done. Okay, this job is done. There are many churches and there are many Christians that they, they live their whole life under pressure and they never know the joy and the, the restoring of being finished. There's something very beautiful and very restorative about finishing something. Let me challenge you today in your life. Don't just keep moving. Learn to pause from time to time and say, all right, this is the definition of done. When I get here, I'm done. And then know the refreshing of being completed. But there's one other thing I want you to notice there. Paul went back and reported. Paul always lived a life of accountability. Paul, didn't, Paul was not a lone ranger. Paul was not a cowboy. Paul was a man that always lived accountable to the people that were over him in authority. He submitted himself to the leadership of this church, and he came back and reported to them. This is how you do church.